Hi everybody, Father Bill here, and I'm at Commonwealth Lake Park. Every time I come here, I keep forgetting the name of the, the pond. It's really kind of a pond, but they call it a lake. It's okay, whatever. Um, but it's so kind, you know, it's, it's just wonderful to be able to just walk from uh, the house, the parish house, to here. Make it very simple. Uh, lots of people do gather here and walk, and as you can see, birds flying, and it's just wonderful. In my previous Friday reflection, I was having a hard time recording anything because of wind and other things, and uh, I finally uh, broke out some of my stuff from unpacking. I haven't really fully unpacked yet, and I have a, what's called a shotgun mic that I can attach to the iPhone here that I'm using. Uh, so hopefully it'll take care of noise, of wind, and other things, so uh, we'll just see. I'll, I can't hear it as I'm offering this, but that's what I hear. I'm on a staycation this week, so I was even cautious if I even do this, but I'm, I kind of want to experiment. I like technology, and this gives me an opportunity to kind of still uh, learn some new things. Thank you for listening and giving me the opportunity to do this. So as we come into ordinary time, uh, we talked about what that is, but there's not just ordinary things happening. Like this coming weekend is the beginning of Catholic Schools Week. And as a parish, we want to support Catholic schools. And uh, Ashley Sheridan, our principal, will be coming forward at the end of Mass to offer some thoughts. Deacon Brett will be offering the homily this weekend. And I hope that uh, you will be inspired to pray for our school, pray for our kids, the teachers who do a, an amazing job. I mean, to teach at a Catholic school uh, is a privilege and a sacrifice all at the same time. Uh, we strive to give good pay to our teachers. Uh, we want to keep them. We've had excellent track record for uh, retention of teachers, and that goes to that just kind of goes back to the administration. Ashley, uh, Father Dave, Deacon Brett, all those who had come before me, uh, and I just kind of inherited a lot of this. Uh, but uh, they've done a great job. Uh, we have a PTO that has been active. They also help out, and it's a real support to the not only the kids but the the teachers, the parent teacher organization. So I want to thank all those who are part of the PTO. You know, it's funny that I am a, 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 a not a Catholic school uh, kid. Uh, I went to public school all the way through. First half of my family, they went to Catholic school. The second half, remember there's nine of us, so the second half, the bottom half, we went to um, public schools. And I went through public schools all the way through college, in fact, until I actually taught at Central Catholic. That was really my first uh, entree into a Catholic school in any kind of formal way as a teacher. One of the things that is most important on my heart about Catholic schools um, is evangelization. We exist to help create an environment by which children and families will encounter Jesus so that they will come to know him deeply to recognize that he is the source of all happiness and joy and when we have problems, we have struggles and pains and sorrows, again, his answer to all those pains and struggles is, I am with you. It's in himself is the actual answer to that question of pain and, and suffering. Instead of trying to fix things per se, his answer is to be with us and walk with us. But all this then needs to be then wrapped in a community. And that's what um, Holy Trinity Catholic School offers us, is a community. Again, a community so that we can foster the ability to uh, encounter Christ with our, our children, through our teachers, through the administration, myself, Deacon Brett, our pastoral staff in the office, all that stuff. Uh, all of us are here to help encourage and woo and to evangelize, to let them know who Jesus is and how important he is. Because a thousand years from now, not knowing Jesus it could be a very, very great tragedy. We don't want that. But beyond even that, so of course, this is part of our mission, to know Jesus. And then once we do know that, then to grow. And I think that uh, we do a great job at our school. Uh, I've popped into the classes uh, on a periodic basis. I know the teachers. I know that Mr. Storm does a great job, particularly with making the faith very accessible and exciting and fun for the kids. Uh, and they're learning things that I didn't learn. And I wish I had a teacher just like him when I was their age. So. We need to recognize and thank all the teachers, and that's just one of many in our, in our school. But I want to encourage you to, uh, to support our school, however you think that might be, by time, talent, and treasure. Time. I mean, maybe you want to give some time and volunteer some way. Uh, maybe you have a talent or a gift. 
Uh, maybe you can help the PTO in a remote sense or a direct sense, or maybe help out in the office. Talk to uh, Natalie at the office, or talk to Ashley Sheridan, our, our principal, and see if that's a possibility for you. Uh, and of course, uh, treasure. You know, we're trying to make sure that the school is affordable. Uh, it is expensive to um, to educate our students, our kids. It's around ninety-seven hundred dollars just to have one child educated in our school. And we do our best to make it affordable because we don't want to have money to be uh, an issue. Uh, but it is, of course, a reality. So you're giving to the endowment that we have, uh, giving for tuition assistance that you might be able to help out with. All of this, uh, maybe partnering with a family to help them in that, you know, making it affordable for them. There's just a lot of ways to do it. And again, I don't, I'm not even going to exhaust all of them, I'm just having a conversation here. Uh, but I want to encourage you to then uh, talk to Ashley and, and see how you might be able to help. And then we can discern to see where your gifts are and how they may be able to help. Well, I want to make this a real short uh, video because, again, I'm on my staycation. Don't want to take a lot of time to uh, do work, but uh, this is important. So, folks, thank you for your time. God bless you, and I'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.